morning in good form. The powerful Ford engines will be well suited to these flat out roads. And approaching the finish boards now, let's see how he compares to second place Sordo. Yes, for the first time this rally, he's managed the time better than Sordo, and he closes slightly on the Spaniard. Francois, 1.4 slower than Sebastian in there, so it's not too bad. very close considering it's a long stage. Yes, uh, I'm very surprised on the long stage. Uh, I've a long time I drive on the, this longer, but uh, quite uh, really good. I drive uh, not 100%. And the car is going well today. Yeah, okay. Kiernan begins the day 2.8 seconds behind his teammate, but he could struggle to beat him here. He's clearly going to be slower. Yes, he's fourth fastest on stage again. He slips further behind Duval after the Belgian's terrific time. Mikko, a long stage to start the day. It's a stage where you can either lose a lot of time or potentially make it. But the times are so close, but you lost just a little bit to Francois and Sebastian. Yeah, but the uh, looks good. Look, looks good at least. Uh, Francois is now in the same speed as Citroën, so uh, that that's very good. Okay, I lost a little bit of time, but uh, you know, fairly happy. Kievenen's regular teammate Yadim Atilavala has put in some impressive displays on tarmac in the past, but for now, the Finn is content with rebuilding his fragile confidence. Latvala <laughs> begins the morning in seventh. <laughs> Just nine seconds behind the Stobart Ford man at the start of the day, though, is Subaru's Chris Atkinson. The Australian lost a lot of time on the morning of day one, but has looked very impressive since then. He's been very quick through the early split times and could even challenge Lavala's position here. Wow, what a start of the day for Atkinson. Fifth fastest on the stage, and he jumps ahead of Lavala by the smallest of margins. This is how they stand after the opening stage of day two then. Loeb continues to dominate, now 18.2 seconds ahead of Sordo. And after Duval's fine time, the Belgian's now almost eight seconds ahead of his teammate. Peter Solberg is still the leading Subaru in fifth. Loeb's perfect run is maintained then. Find out after the break if he can continue his incredible form. Welcome back to the Rally de Catalunya, where Sebastian Loeb has been unstoppable so far in his pursuit of a fourth successive win in Spain. Danny Sordo is now over 18 seconds behind his teammate. After the lengthy El Priorat test, which got day two underway, there are two much shorter stages left to negotiate before the crews return to service in Salo. And for Loeb, it's business as usual. He continues to extend his advantage over Sordo and the rest of the field. Francois Duval has been brought in by the Ford team to aid their quest to catch Citroën in the Manufacturers' Championship. We can monitor the Belgians telemetry through this twisty technical section on stage eight. And again, the brakes are being worked very hard on this tight downhill complex of corners. The cars actually have larger brake discs on fast tarmac rallies such as this. And looking at the hammering they're being given here, you can see why. For now, it seems there's little Duval can do to catch either Loeb or Sordo, but he is still the best of the rest, though, and continues to pull away from Hirvenen on these two stages. Further back, there are a number of other battles to keep an eye on. Amoava is currently sixth, but he's beginning to make a move on Peda Solberg. The Estonian privateer is quicker than Petter on stages eight and nine, and is now within ten seconds of the former world champion. Atkinson, meanwhile, after putting in a fine effort to make it back into the points, has begun to fall adrift of the fight for fifth. Then, four right plus open slot. He's almost 18 seconds behind Arva by the end of stage nine. 
Late six right needs, 33 left and Titan Sal very long. Atkinson is also beginning to come under real pressure again from Yadi Matti Latvala. By the end of stage nine, the Finn is only four tenths of a second behind. After the first loop of stages, then Loeb has an advantage of 23.7 seconds over his teammate, with Duval still the best part of half a minute behind Sordo. Further back, it's still Yalimati Lavala who rounds off the point scoring places. Right now, though, it's back to the impressive service halt in Salou. Uh, again, a, a perfect morning, uh, a very long stage uh, from 38 kilometers uh, for the first stage this morning, and so it was important to save a bit the tires. Uh, I tried to, to take the good rhythm, and I think it was it was okay. And in the two next, I, I pushed hard uh, because I was feeling well, uh, really happy with the balance of my car, and so um, everything is going perfectly. Maybe it's necessary for Ford uh, more tests and uh, one tarmac driver for for fix the car and the setting. And uh, because only three days uh, the last week is too short to come here. If uh, no time to to decide uh, one more test or change like that to something. What's your take on what's happening at the front of the field? Well, they are going quite fast. Huh? That's what I can say honestly. Um, how I say. I don't really think about the situation so much. I just try to get get through this rally, get it finished, do Corsica, you know, and get my self confidence level better. And then we have more rallies to come after that. Can you have a nice game with Yari Matti? Because we need some stories out there. Can you do some swapping of positions for us? I'll, I'll try. We'll have a chat after. I was talking to him before. He was at the start and he was running up and down the road and he was all excited. And then I took 10 seconds out of him. And then he must have uh, switched on and he's gone right after that. So I'll have a word to him and we'll see if we can make it interesting. Plenty of battles to keep an eye on then. The fans are clearly still enjoying the action. And back out to the stages, we're returning to Catalonia's signature stage, the 38-kilometre El Priorat. Blisteringly quick performances on tarmac have become one of the most breathtaking spectacles in modern rallying. Few drivers in the history of the sport have dominated sealed surface events so comprehensively. We joined the world champion midway through this long stage and the chance now to ride with him and co-driver Daniel Eleanor as they negotiate this winding road. Boisterous crowds clearly appreciating his efforts. We go here, and maybe Loeb's equal driving on gravel, but it's an indication of Seb's skill on tarmac that even a driver as talented as Miko cannot come close to the pace of the world champion in Spain. It's a long stage, though, to so another real chance to make an impression.